this court will definitely reduce the re-victimization the children face while going through the legal processes. Telangana Police Department is the first in the country to start many initiatives for the safety of women and children under the guidance of uh, our Honorable Chief Minister. We are the first in starting she teams to protect women in public places. This initiative is being em emulated by many states now. There was a big vacuum in rehabilitation of rape victims and child sexual abuse victims. Bharosa Center has been started by Telangana Police for the victims of rape and child sexual abuse in the city of Hyderabad with the support of Women and Child Development Department. In fact, we have jointly started this in uh, association with the Women and Child Welfare, uh, Child Development Department. Bharosa is the first kind of center in the country managed by police and situated away from police stations and hospitals to provide holistic services to the victims of violence. This center provided, this center proved our commitment to work for the prevention, prosecution and penalization of the crimes against women and children. The relief that we could provide in about 4,000 odd cases which were dealt in a short span of last two years have proved this very amply. We have worked very hard to stop the crime by sensitizing the community members and encouraging them to report the crime with no fear. The services offered in Bharosa for the victims ranging from counseling to rehabilitation helped in getting the required solace and comfort to the victims of child sexual abuse. However, our aim is to give a logical conclusion to each POXO Act case. This necessitated setting up the child-friendly courts in the premises of Bharosa Center. The judiciary has played a very major role in supporting us in this cause. The Honorable Metropolitan Session Judges have been extremely cooperative and sensitive to the cause. They had come forward to issue necessary orders to the magistrates to record judicial statements through video conferencing mode. Some of them have even visited Bharosa Center to record the statements when the children had problems in giving their statements over video. With the support of all, we could achieve penalizations ranging from life to three years in, in many POXO Act cases in the last two years. Now, with the guidance of Honorable Acting Chief Justice of High Court, we could plan this court to exclusively look into POXO Act. The establishment of this child-friendly court is the result of the efforts put in by various stakeholders. I profusely thank Honorable Sri Justice Madan V. Lokurji, who kindly consented to be the chief guest to inaugurate this court. It has been a privilege and honor for us, sir. So we get the required inspiration from you to work for the rights of the children. Thank you, sir, for gracing the occasion. I also thank the Honorable Shri Justice Ramesh Ranganathan Garu, Acting Chief Justice, High Court of Judication, Hyderabad, for give, giving the required permission to establish this court, guiding and ensuring that the court is made as per the Supreme Court and the POXO Act guidelines. Thank you, sir, for your guidance. I also thank the Honorable Judges of the Juvenile Justice Committee, High Court of Judicature at Hyderabad for gracing this occasion. I am also very thankful to the Metropolitan Sessions Judges Nampali Hyderabad who mooted the idea of setting up the separate court of uh, for POXO Act cases at Bharosa. We are thankful to Honorable Judge Srimati Radha Rani for guiding us and the present MSJ, Sri Venkata Krishna, uh, Krishna Iyagaru, for his constant support. I am extremely thankful to our Director General of Police, Sri Mahendra Reddy Garu, for guiding us right from the inception. As the Commissioner of Police, Hyderabad City, he has sanctioned funds to ensure that the child friendly court is that of a world class standard. I also thank the SEFRI, Department of Women and Child Welfare Department, Sri Jagdishwar Garu, 
for supporting and guiding us in running the Bharosa Center and also helping us to manage and maintain this child-friendly court. I also thank the Commissioner of Police, Hyderabad City, Sri Anjani Kumar Garu, and his team for organizing this event and making all the arrangements. I also thank the MD Police Housing Corporation, Sri Malaredi Garu, the engineers, the DE, in ensuring that the court is ready in a record time. I also thank the Icon Solution Architects for the planning and execution of this court. I thank all the judges and all the senior police officials and all the other guests who have graced this occasion and made it a grand success. I thank all the print and the electronic media who have covered this program. I am also thankful to all the people who worked hard to set up this court and have made this program a grand success. Let us all pledge to prevent child sexual abuse in the state of Telangana and extend our unconditional support to the needy victims. Thank you one and all.